This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2232, Intuitive Awareness, by Shana Olmsted of shanaolmsted.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, the guy reading to you every single day of the year with permission from the authors. And with that, let's get right to another post and start optimizing your life. Intuitive Awareness, by Shana Olmsted of shanaolmsted.com. What is intuition? And why is it important? More and more people are understanding the importance of intuition and wanting to strengthen their own unique intuitive abilities. In my view, intuition is the loving, positive, truthful, calm voice that we all have inside of us. This is the one that guides us towards our truth, our potential that we may or may not be aware of in a conscious way yet, the truth of our magnificence, that we tend to block with the fear or doubt of the logical mind much of the time. I believe that this voice is the voice of source energy where we all come from, what all life is made of. Whatever your belief system, whether this voice to you is your gut instinct or your higher self or God or something different, you know what it sounds like and feels like. Intuition sounds like love, calm, positivity, limitlessness, and encouragement. While we usually know what this feels like, many of us quickly tend to dismiss it, not believe it, or not even be aware of it because we are so busy, surrounded by others, or in our brains too much. Our very sweet, protective minds tend to come in and run the show most of the time. They tell us that they are super smart and strong, and if we don't listen to them, there will be big trouble, scary. We don't want bad things to happen, So the tendency is to stay small and listen to the fear in order to stay safe and comfortable. The voice of the logical mind, fear, and ego sounds more like fear, doubt, shoulds, can'ts, and limitation. Understanding the difference between the voice of your intuition versus your ego can simply be broken down by the feeling of love versus the feeling of fear the feeling of expansion versus the feeling of contraction. Practicing feeling these differences and giving more power to the voice of love will help you continue to evolve in a positive and conscious way. Why is this important? Well, clearly to live a life without the integration of your own intuitive guidance is to live a life that is just not as rich or beautiful or positive or fulfilling as it was meant to be. We are born to remember this voice. All that happens to us is happening for us to connect back into this beautiful, eternal voice of wisdom that has always been and always will be. As we as individuals continue to work on this remembering, it helps the collective energy tune back into its own intuition as well, to remember that we are here to collaborate, not devastate, to love instead of hate, to be generous instead of holding on out of scarcity and fear. Intuition is one of the most fun areas to work on for me with my clients. As I've worked on developing my intuition over the years, my life has continued to expand in beautiful ways. This has inspired me to allow my intuition to assist others to connect to their own unique intuitive guidance in order to expand into their own beautiful potential as well. We all need our intuition in order to make the best decisions for us in our own lives in areas such as love, career, family, and where we live, just to name a few. Some simple and easy ways to practice connecting to your own internal wisdom are, number one, practice getting out of your head consistently. In order to hear your insight, it's imperative to practice quieting the mind. Practice meditating consistently. Number two, practice being present and grounded consistently. In addition to practicing meditation consistently, I do mean consistently, placing checkpoints throughout the day to check in on your energy system is imperative to grow your connection with your intuition as well. In the morning, as soon as you wake up, practice feeling your energy system and do some grounding exercises. A great way to practice presence is to spend about 30 to 60 seconds feeling the energy of your body and breathing energy and light into any areas that feel stagnant or need more life force energy flowing into them. A favorite easy grounding exercise that I use all the time is to place your feet on the floor 
sit quietly, and imagine your feet growing roots into the earth. Imagine these roots pulling up beautiful earth energy into your feet and flowing up into filling your whole body with white light. Throughout your day, put in checkpoints to remind yourself to practice presence and grounding. At least once an hour, put a reminder on your phone to check in and ground your lovely energy system. And number three, practice asking yourself intuitive questions. An easy way to start is by picking between two choices. For example, if you need groceries, get still, present, and grounded. Close your eyes and visualize two different choices of grocery stores. Feel into which of the choices feels more interesting or alive or sparkly to you. Practice not listening to the voice of logic that might tell you to pick one option due to logical reasons like location, etc. Follow the intuitive guidance and take internal or external notes to help you validate your intuitive experience. I had a fun example while doing this practice. My logical mind was telling me to go to Safeway because it was closer, maybe what I wanted would be cheaper, etc. My intuition told me to go to QFC instead. I did this. They had organic celery on sale, and it happened that my dog who was at the vet, which was right next door to QFC, was able to be picked up earlier than expected right after my grocery shopping. Amazing. Starting with the small questions helps to build your confidence in your own intuition in order to begin trusting it more with the bigger ones in your life. Growing into intuitive awareness is like building a muscle. Be patient, kind, and loving to yourself as you are growing into your practice. Working on integrating these practices consistently takes time. I encourage you to dedicate time in building your skills here and gaining confidence in them before diving too deeply into the next steps. These practices have many additional benefits, not just helping you to connect more to your intuition, but also helping you to feel calmer, more peaceful, and in a higher vibration more of the time. This is all laying the foundation for your awareness of new and more amazing possibilities for yourself to flow into your awareness. You just listened to the post titled Intuitive Awareness by Shana Olmstead of shanaolmstead.com. Thank you to Shana. Different kind of post today. We don't hear too much about intuition versus the logical mind here, but I found this one to be a nice change of pace. And I can confirm that meditation is a great way to learn how to get out of your head. It's not perfect, and while it's simple, it's definitely not easy. Meditation can be extremely frustrating at times, in fact, but if you can work past it, I think it's worth it in the end. And if it doesn't work for you or you can't build it into your routine, that's okay. There are plenty of exercises you can try. Just keep listening to the show and you'll get some more ideas. So with that, hope you'll continue listening and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.